New, are you there? Okay, good. Yes. Okay. Right, so we're going to do IELTS 16. We're going to carry on from part two, where we did part two. We're going to review part two and then start with part three. So part two says, describe a luxury item you would like to own in the future. Say what the item, item you would like to own, what this item looks like, why you would like to own this item, and explain whether you would be able to own this item in the future. Do you remember this one, Thal? Yes. Okay. Okay, sweetie. Uh, now, can you tell us what item you would like to own? The luxury items that I would like to own in the future is the latest Apple iPhones. The iPhone has built with um, the complement and a lot of technologies that can replace the calendars. Sorry? Mm -hmm. I didn't say anything. Uh, the iPhones was built with a lot of technologies and components that's replay, that's replay note, radio, uh, tape of CD, music, and so on. Um, and so on. It come with the world comfort and has a lot of various models and colors that I could choose. And um if i own the latest apple iphone i will uh, i will not need any note calendar or te the technologies hard technologies ever again because i all i need is in the palm of my hand in addition i can use the calendar to land and use the music app to listen to music in my free time and I could also use the note app to note the things that I want to remember and the phone also has amazing pixel that the photographer could also take picture with their uh, iPhone and um, it also has uh, the it also has the waterproof, so that's when I forget the iPhone in my pocket, it will not uh, have the too serious problem. And in and I think in the future I can own these luxury items because I don't think now I can have enough fun to purchase this amazing device. Okay, good. Now we're going to look at some of the questions here. Let's go to part three. Expensive items. I'm going to see if we can answer these ones. Expensive items. Which expensive items? Would many young people in your country like to buy? How do the expensive items that younger people want to buy differ, or how is it different from those that older people want to buy? Do you think that people are more likely to buy expensive items for their friends or for themselves? Okay, new. No. Which expensive items would many young people in your country like to buy? <clears throat> uh, the items are the expensive item would many young people are uh, in my country like to buy is um is a uh. This uh, personal car is mostly used public uh, transport to move from one place 
to another and to visit my hometown, which is a uh, very inconvenient. Owning a car would be a great advantage for me as I would be able to freely move and be, visit my hometown more frequently. <coughs> so the expense of car is... Okay, sorry, yes. Mm -hmm. uh, the car I want to buy is a... Uh, is the car by for this is a uh, this is a stylist um, looking car which is also full efficient my um, um I intend to buy it after two uh Um, there are so many advantages of owning a car I spend solely in the city I live in. Maintaining perfect time timing is pretty tough. If you travel on a public bus, you would need to wait for the bus stay in the long for a long time. And the frequency of the public bus busies and the number of people <clears throat> do not allow one to men mention that. Okay. Count not this class video, okay? Yes. Okay. Uh, new, yes, uh, that's a little bit long, um, but it's a good answer. Um, so, which expensive item would many young people like to buy? For me, I think young people in my country could own a um, would like to own a smartphone for themselves because a smartphone is very convenient and they can took photos, um, to photos of the internet and also can chat with friends. Okay, yes, only um, new, only about three or four sentences for part three, not too long, okay? Uh, expensive item and why? Um, how do the expensive items that, okay, Thal, how do the expensive items that younger people want to buy differ from those that older people want to buy? I think the older people want to buy things that um, they like, for example, the albums of their idols. And for young people, I think they would like to own some things that uh, they could write about themselves on the internet and they could find for something interesting to watch. Okay, so tell me uh, if you want to say what, okay, it differs. What do you think that all the people want to buy? Um, I think the older people, uh, like my mothers, want to buy something that they like, such as the album of their favorite singers and idols. Oh, yes, yes, okay, okay. What about you, New? Yes. Um, okay. How do the expensive items that younger people want to buy, for example, an uh, Apple iPhone, differ from those that older people want to buy? Um, because um, younger people want to buy different um, Remember, younger people always want to be um, smart. They always want to have the newest new technology. New technology. Um, they always want, it always needs to be quick. So 
younger people want like an iPhone. They want the, the iPhone, smart TV, um, smart car, smart car. They want the easy life, okay? But older people, they want it simple. Uh, they want it simple. They can't keep up with the speed of the things and the new technology, they don't want to learn. They don't want to learn new technology. So how do expensive items that young people want to buy differ from those that older people want to buy? Younger people want the new iPhone because it's all the, the, um, the comp components that it has. If you look at the older person, the older people, um, the older people, they don't want the new iPhone. They don't know how it works. They are not, not um, clued up. So they, they don't know about the new features of the iPhone. They want a simple life. And therefore, these are not as expensive. They want a different comfort in life than what the younger people want. They maybe want the, a nice TV that they can hear well, or they want a comfortable car rather than a smart car. So how do the expensive items that younger people want differ? It differs very, very, uh, it's very uh, far apart because, uh, the smart, the uh, expensive items are smart, where older people want to have it local. They want it comfort. So therefore, the, therefore, their items aren't that expensive. Do you think that people are more likely to buy expensive items for their friends, No. Would you buy an expensive item for your friend and not for yourself? Or would you buy one for yourself? Um, I, think, mm -hmm. I think people are more likely to buy expensive items for themselves. Why? Um, because it, um, it's, um, it's um, too expensive. No, but why would you buy expensive ones for yourself and not for your friend? They think a little bit. What about you, uh, Tao? I think young people could buy expensive items for themselves because um, they don't want to share the expensive items that they have to pay for their friends. And young people also like to buy some simple items that their friends could need for the present. Okay, and also remember, Life is, too, uh, life is too expensive now. Therefore, everything that a young person wants or your friend wants is very expensive because smartphones are coming out. The technology is, is moving forward. So every time you have to buy a gift, it's going to be expensive to buy one for your friend. You never know when your friend will not be your friend anymore and when your friend moves away. Now you spend so much money on your friend, but tomorrow it's not your friend anymore, or tomorrow your friend's moving to a different country. So always rather spend money on, remember, they always say when you spend money or give money to a person, never expect to get it back. So when you spend and buy your friend an iPhone, never expect your friend to give it back or to buy an iPhone back, it's a gift. So do you think that people are more likely to buy expensive items for their friends or for themselves? For themselves, because life is too expensive to buy expensive gifts. It's better to buy simple gifts. Okay, no. Why would you buy expensive gift for yourself and not for your friend?
say, say for example, you can buy an iPhone. Why would you buy the iPhone for yourself and not for your friend? Because uh, the smartphone is uh, is uh, expensive and it is expensive. But why would you buy expensive gifts for yourself and not for your friend and not for your friend? Uh, because it's uh, expensive and I don't like they are like or don't like. Say again, sweetie. Okay, think about that one, though. Why would you buy an expensive one for yourself and not your friend? I think we should buy the items for ourselves because if we buy a very expensive items for your friend, uh, we would never know if they would buy another expensive thing for us. Uh, to make a gift for you so uh, and you don't know uh, if they are still your friend or not and uh, if they move to another country or they're not your friend anymore then you lose a lot of money to buy that expensive things for your friend and uh, it doesn't help you anymore in your life Okay, how difficult is it to become very rich in today's world? Do you think, Thao, it is very difficult to become rich today? Yes, I think it's very difficult because we have a, we need to have a, a good work so we can earn money and when we have money we also uh, have a list that we will not buy the things that we don't need and don't really want and also if you become rich it uh, will not never for sure that you will reach forever what about uni how difficult is it to become very rich in today's world No? Yes. How difficult is it to become very rich today? Do you think it's difficult to become rich new? Um. This is difficult to is to become very rich. Why? Uh, Why do you think it's difficult to become rich new? Um. Okay, let's have a look here. To be honest, getting rich takes sustained work. Getting rich can be very hard work. Thinking that becoming rich is luck, means that you don't want to work or take the risk 
to achieve anything. Also, people become wealthy through thousands of stri stri uh... Remember, wealthy is another word for rich, okay? Uh, to be honest, getting rich takes sustained work. Getting rich can be very hard work. Thinking that becoming rich is luck means that you don't want to work or take the risk to achieve anything. Also, people become wealthy through thousands of strategic decisions and actions that make them wealthy. Strategic decisions. How difficult is it to become very rich in today's world? It is difficult. Okay. Uh, Thousy, if you can read that to us. How difficult is it to become very rich in today's world? To be honest, getting rich takes substantial work. Getting rich can be very hard work. Thinking that becoming rich is luck a means that you don't want to work or take the risk of achieving anything. Also, people become wealthy through thousands of strategic, strategic. strategic and uh, strategic decisions Decision. and actions that make them wealthy. Okay. Do you think money brings happiness? No. Do you agree that money does not necessarily bring happiness? Do you think money makes you happy or do you think, no, it does, it won't make you happy? Uh, I think money is, uh, is necessary bring happiness because um, if I have money, I can buy anything I want and anything I want. Um, Um, you think you happy? Yes. Yes. Okay. What do you yeah. think, Sal? I think that there are two things that bring me happiness is money and relationship. If I have money, I can buy any things I want, which make me happy. But if I have no friends, that I couldn't share anything. But if I only have the relationship like family, friends, and group, but I don't have money that I couldn't... Um, I couldn't afford another things that will make my life become poor. Okay. So money does not bring happiness in life. Um, I'm not talking about being able to buy bread. I'm talking about being wealthy, being rich. Being rich does not bring happiness. I'm not talking about I can't go buy bread or I can't buy myself new shoes. I'm talking about a huge house, a smart car, um, holiday house, I'm talking about rich, okay? Being rich does not make you happy. So it says here, do you agree that money does not necessarily brings happiness? Uh, so you can say here, uh, to start off, no, let's say, um, to answer your, quest your question, I would say that I agree with your statement as money is unlikely to buy happiness. Um, it may, however, it may help you achieve happiness to an extent, okay? Um, 
look for purchases that will help that will help you feel fulfilled and beyond that you can find happiness through other non-financial means like spending time with people you enjoy or thinking about the good things in your life okay so i agree to answer, answer your question i would say that i agree with your statement as money is unlikely to buy happiness however it may help you achieve happiness to an extent when you buy that smart car or the smart dress you do feel happy look for purchases that will help you feel fulfilled happy and beyond that you can find happiness through other non-financial means spending time with your family helping old people helping your brother it makes you happy um study hard get good marks it makes you happy it's not just money what if your mom has all the money in the world but you fail your test your english test uh, three times can money buy your success can money can ma money buy the test and make you pass uh, money cannot buy your health what if you if you get sick and your heart has a problem and you're very sick money can't save you yes you can go to the doctor and get medicine but at the end of the day money can't save you how many people died from COVID? rich people and their money couldn't save them they died from COVID. they died from an accident so your money cannot buy happiness it can't buy your life okay that's what they say here no in what ways might rich people use their money to help the society what do you think rich people use the use their money to help the society no no are you there No. Um, yes, my Wi-Fi. Yes. Okay, look at the number three. In what ways might rich people use their money to help the society? Um, rich people use their money to, uh, uh, to, So how can rich people help the society? Uh, they use their money to help uh, homeless and um, old people. Um, okay. And so, what do you think? There are a lot of ways that rich people can use their money to help the society, such as in the polemics, they can use their money to help uh, the government buy vaccines for people, and they can help um, the foreign people that buy or build them, um, uh, build them a house for them to uh, live in a, 
um, in a short time so they will not become homeless. Well, the rich people should help the society uh, no. it is important it is important uh, it is important rich people help the society uh, It's important that rich people help the society. Um, when they do, it helps eradicate poverty to an absolute end. What is poverty? Who knows what poverty is? This will help people become economically sound, socially responsible, and medically fit. The perfect combination, the perfect combination of all three will lead to a clean environment and help control over population. That is how the rich people can help the society. It's important that rich people help the society. When they do, it helps eradicate poverty to an absolute end. So they can end poverty. Poverty is when people are very, very hungry, very poor, and they don't have houses to stay in. This will help people become economically sound so they can start getting work again. They're socially responsible for their doings. They're medically fit to go work. And the perfect combination of all three will lead to a clean environment and help control overpopulation. You understand what I'm saying there? Nu, no? can you read it for us? Yes. Uh... Well, it is important that three people help the society. Society. When they do, is help the society. Society. When they do, is help uh, eradicate, eradicate poverty to eradicate means to destroy. If they destroy poverty, eradicate. 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 Poverty to an ab absolute end. This will help people become uh, economically sound, socially, economically, economically sound, socially responsible, and medically fit. The perfect com combination of three will lead to a clean environment and help control of overpopulation. Three speaking. Okay. So, um, do you agree that money does not necessarily bring happiness? To answer your question, I could say that I agree with your statement as money is unlikely to buy happiness. However, it may help you achieve happiness to an extent. Look for purchases that will help you feel fulfilled. And beyond that, you can find happiness through also non-financial, uh, non-financial, 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 non-financial. Non-financials means like spending time with people you enjoy or thinking about the good things uh, in your life. Oh, sorry, things, yes. Let me just fix that word. Things. Okay, uh, new. 
How difficult is it to become rich today? To be honest, getting rich takes sustained work. Getting rich can be very hard work. Thinking that becoming rich is luck means that you don't want to work or take the risk to achieve uh, anything. Also, people become world wealthy through 2000 of strategy, decision strategic. and actions. Strategic. At strategic. Strategic decisions and actions that make uh that make them what wealthy, yes, wealthy is rich. In what ways might be might rich people use their money to help the society, Thao? Well, it is important that rich people help the society. When they do, it helps eradicate property uh, to an absolute end. This will have people become economically sound, societally responsible, socially? and medically. Socially? Socially responsible and medically fit. The perfect combinations of all three will lead to the clean environment that uh, environment and health control over population. No, how uh, do you agree that money does not necessarily bring happiness? Uh, to answer your question, I would say that I agree with your state statement as money is unlikely to buy happiness. However, it mainly helps you achieve uh, happiness to an extent. Look for practices that will help you feel fulfilled, 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 and beyond that, you can find happiness through all the notification means, mm -hmm. like spending time with people you enjoy or thinking about the good things in your life. In what ways might rich people use their money to help society? So? Well, it is important that rich people help the society. When they do, it helps eradicate poverty to an absolute end. This will have people become economically sound, so socially responsible and medically fit. The perfect combinations of all three will lead to the clean environment and have control over population. Okay, no. How difficult is it to become very rich in today's world? No. Yes, to be honest, getting rich takes sustained work. Getting rich can be very hard work. Thinking that becoming with rich is luck. Luck means that you don't want to work or take the risk to active anything. Also, people become worth wealthy through thousands of strategic decisions and actions that make uh, them wealthy. Okay. Right now, let's go to, um, I want to do the top three with you again. Okay, the top three questions here. Uh, which expensive items would many young people in your country like to buy? Now, I don't think it's only in your country. I think it can be in any country in the world. Young people want iPhones, houses, cars, TVs, computers. They want to own those things primarily because some of them think that they are the absolute necessity uh, for their daily lives, while others think these positions would make their lives more comfortable and easy. Some also want to own those things because they think that those positions would make them look more valuable and important in the eyes of others. 